Hey guys, it's Panto6 with a new episode of the Game Feed. Today we're talking about Magic the Gathering. And you're probably wondering, well, that's not a video game. No, but it's a game. A card game. Which you can play with your friends. But anyways, um, as you guys know, I do a lot of stuff with uh, my good friends at Goblin Traders and uh, things involving magic. And I'm kind of new to magic. I was sure playing magic back, uh, I want to say back last November. That's when I first started. A few of my friends are like, oh, you guys should play magic. And I was one of those guys like, man, I don't know if I want to do that. Because A, I love movies. B, I love video games. C, I have all these nerdy tattoos. I love cartoons. I used to like comics. Oh my god, if I go into magic, I'm going to be an even bigger nerd. Then it'll be Dungeons and Dragons, and then it'll be my grandma's basement. No, my, my grandma's dead, but <laughs> so there's not really a basement to go to that belongs to my grandma. But uh, no, uh, I was completely wrong by that because... I met some of the best people and the nicest people I have ever met, and um, I have a bond with these guys um, just by starting this. Uh, I've got friends I probably never, ever thought I would have, and they're very supportive, especially the guys at the Goblin Traders, and you know I talk about them a lot. And um, the reason I want – there's a couple things I want to talk about. A is – why you should venture into things which you're kind of uncomfortable with and be price gouging. But we'll get to that later. I don't want to get miffed and talk about it now. Um, rather, you're, if you're looking into games for the first time, rather be mobile, card games, board games, video games, you name it. Um, and that could be anything else, too. It doesn't necessarily be video games. It could be exercise, uh, Smoking weed, I, I don't care, as long as it's not like hardcore black tar heroin. But there's this thing like, if you just set out, I don't know, here's a good example. Um, when you was a kid, you used to, uh, the, there used to be a bunch of your friends or some people were just playing games out like in the yard or something like that in the schoolyard. And you kind of sit down on a bench, you just, you're, you're the loner. And, you know, these kids would be like, hey, you should come and join me play this game. And most of the time, I would go join these people. And I'd have a new experience. So that would be the first time I ever played football. I was sitting there on a bench. And my friend Brandon at the time was like, hey, you should play football. I was like, okay. So I played football in the schoolyard. Then I started playing football. Same goes with track, marching band, uh, a garage band. And... You learn all these, you get to do all these experiences because you jump in. And that's why I like Xbox. The Xbox 360 had this thing a long time ago, it was an advertisement. It's like jump in. And I really like that because you jump into this um, <coughs> thing, these experiences, you get to meet new people, um, have fun, do something you're, you don't think you're good at, but you get to learn to do it. And um, it's just something really cool. And that's why I'm saying, um, if you are looking into Magic the Gathering, and you always be like, oh, I don't know if I should do that, it's for nerds, I'm going to tell you now, it's amazing, it's fun, and you will guarantee have a blast with these people. Um, and if you're just around town here, where I live, and you stumble across this video, and you're thinking, hey man, um, how's this Magic the Gathering, how's that Goblin Traders, how is any other game shop go just go it doesn't matter which one you go to preferably I say Goblin Traders they're not paying me to say that but that's where I went and I know a lot of people there I've um, my friend Bryce Brian Randy uh, Gary you name it I, I, I know I, there's a whole lot more of you guys out there if you're watching I'm sorry I didn't list you but you will like these people. I mean, you'll get to learn you know, new things, and you'll get to make friends, and that's what it is. It's about making friends. Um, oh, man. The words I'm trying to get out is like... <sighs> but anyways, yeah. I think if you're looking to play Magic the Gathering, I would do it. Because what else... What could it hurt? I mean, it's got the thing in the title of Magic 
the gathering. People gather, they hang out, have fun, shoot shit, play cards, beat each other, be competitive. You know, it's it's just like anything else. So if you're looking into play magic, play magic. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, anyways, I guess the next point about uh, Magic the Gathering, since we're on this subject, is um, every couple of months they release a new set. And it's a new expansion, and it has a bunch of new cards, and some cards are more rare than others, and some things have more money, and some things can do this and that. But this month, they released something called Battle for Zendikar. And um, the cool thing about this is this has these full art lands. And if you haven't seen it, I have a fat pack on, on opening where I unbox a fat pack of Battle for Zendikar. She had pretty much all the contents. Well, a long time ago, I think, I forget what it was, Return to Zendikar, or uh, I forget what the name was. I wasn't playing Magic at that time, sadly. But um, they had full art lands. And these things were fairly expensive because there was only in that set. And there was, you know, you just got them in every pack. You're guaranteed to get one full art land. And um, the fat packs, only some of them had full art lands. And um, the new set, all fat packs come with full art lands. Every pack comes with a full art land. And... You get a lot. You get a lot of these things. Well, places like Star City Games, Channel Fireball, eBay, Amazon, your some local game shops have decided to up the price on these things. Well, MSRP is forty dollars, thirty nine ninety nine. Why would you pay a cent more than that? Even though, you, yes, it's a helping out your local game store, but your local game store probably doesn't want to fuck you over. Some do, some don't. There's some there's some fucking dirty places. But it is what really pisses me off about it is the main reason they're doing this is because of the land pack. The Battle for Zendikar has eighty full art lands. Now the reason why they're doing this is like, well these are going to be rare. Um they, so we're going to jack up the prices and you're going to pay for them because there's something really pretty to put in the decks. But not only that, you have the Expedition Lands, which you probably get one out of every 70 packs if you're lucky. Maybe every three or four boxes you might get one or two if you're lucky. But I don't understand why... I understand supply and demand. I understand capitalism. But... Here's my here, here's what I will tell you. If your local gaming store is jacking up the price, and luckily my the Goblin Traders is not doing that. It's thirty nine ninety nine. It's what we pay for it. It's what I pay for it. It's what everybody pays for it to shop. But if they are, go to fucking Walmart. Go to Target. Thirty nine ninety nine. Now there's a lot of videos out there saying the same damn thing. That's the only bad thing about magic. It can be expensive. But it doesn't have to be extremely expensive. Unfairly expensive. It doesn't have to be that way. It's just some of these people are taking advantage because they think these things are going to be more and more and more expensive as time goes on. That may be true. But in the next two sets, there may be full art lands in the Zendikar block. Who knows? Maybe all four... Or is it two or four, maybe four pods um, are going to have Zendikar, well, uh, Full Art Lands. <laughs> I'm so sorry. They may have that. That may be a possibility. But don't, don't fall into it. And also, be careful with your expeditions. If you get an expedition, be careful with it. People are going to try to sneak their way, snake you into getting it. I remember a long time ago, and, I, I, and it's true, I've done this before. Now, I'll give you the story. Uh, when Pokemon trading card game was really popular, um, me and my brother used to collect them. And one day we went to a flea market after we went and seen, I think it was Pokemon Movie 2000, and they gave out promo Mewtwo's. Well, uh, everybody went to the movie theater, obviously got a fucking promo Mewtwo. Well, my brother went to the flea market. Hey, what did he do? He pulled a Charizard. 
Charizard was the big thing. That was like the first set. Everybody wanted Charizard. So what I do, I use my Weasley ways and traded my Mewtwo by saying, this is way more rare than that. I'll trade you this. I did it. People do that shit. I, and, you know, I did it when I was a kid. I don't do that shit anymore. It's dirty, so don't do it. If you have, if you have these lands, keep them. They're only going to go up in value. Right now, they probably go down because this set is going to be pulling. There's going to be a lot of people pulling from this set. You know, right now I think there's 25 expeditions in this set and 20 in the next set. So there's supposed to be 45 expeditions altogether. Keep them. Just fucking keep them. Or if your shop wants to give you a deal on it, keep it. Sell it to them. Don't snake. Don't let people snake sneak their way being weasels. Don't do that shit. Don't fall for it. Don't pay for more than $40 for that set of Fat Pack. Don't pay more than whatever the MSRP is currently for a booster box. Don't fucking do it. That's all I have to say. It's, it's true. And it's Just watch out, people. Just be careful. That's all I could say. Now, as you guys know, um, I've been having a lot of problems. And I'll talk a little bit more about this on uh, Let's Talk. But I'm having a lot of issues right now in terms of my anxiety. And it's affecting every fucking thing I do. Everything. Now tomorrow I go see a doctor around 1 o'clock. Then I have to go see a psychiatrist again. I've already seen that. And so on and so forth. Now... I'm shaking right now. I'm really nervous. So you'll probably hear me stuttering a lot for the next few weeks. But please, guys, bear with me. Give me some support. I promise you guys I will give you the best content I possibly can. And, <clears throat> yeah. But anyway, I just want to say be careful, guys. And if you're looking to play Magic the Gathering, jump in. If it's, It doesn't even have to be Magic. If it's something you're wanting to try out, don't sit on the sidelines. Be a fucking champ. Just jump in. Have fun. Meet new people. New experience. Who knows? You might meet your wife or your next best friend or wife, husband. It doesn't matter. Just have fun, guys. That's all I ask. But anyways, my name's Panzo6. I hope you guys liked this. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I love you so damn much that it hurts on the inside. I'm just kidding. You guys have a good day. And be sure to check out my old content. I got some awesome content, I think, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. You guys take it easy, right? Bye.